Well, I'm Tinker Hatfield, and um, I've designed a lot of shoes in my day, including the original uh, Marty McFly Back to the Future shoe. What I re remember is we went down really not knowing what was in store. It was a request through our Hollywood promo office that we get involved, and we uh, we thought it was a was a, a, a fun opportunity to sort of stretch our wings design-wise because we knew it was going to be about the future. So we went down and met with Bob Zemeckis, and uh, that was the beginning of the process. When you're designing a project for real life, um, you need to go talk to real people. And you know, this one was. Um, uh, it was different in that uh, there weren't real people to go talk to because this was these were future future people. Um, so uh, I think we had to add a little more imagination to that process. Knowing that and knowing that um, uh, that the character uh, Marty McFly, Michael J. Fox, was going to be wearing the shoes in the future, um, there started to, we start. I started to build a criteria list just like I would with any project. Um, that really was it wasn't any different um, than. Um, designing a modern basketball shoe. My name is Eric Avar, and I'm one of the designers of the Hyperdunk. My name is Tom Ludecki. I work for the Innovation Kitchen. I think good design is always um, finding a balance, a balance between art and science. Number one for us was let's, let's not be so serious. Let's have a little bit of fun. Because we knew we covered off on the science and the performance side. So we actually referenced uh, Back to the Future shoe that Tinker Hatfield had done for Back to the Future. By working on shoes that, uh, that are not real, um, you sort of stretch your imagination a little bit. And then uh, possibly in the future, you could come back and use some of that inspiration for the design of our real products. We took some visual cues and said that's an interesting shape or that's an interesting way to block uh, a larger surface out um, and translated that into this shoe. And you could see that in some of the collar design, um, also this, this midfoot piece, triangle kind of support wrap that gives you a little more support, and also in this he <clears throat> heel support piece. So there are just kind of those three basic elements with just a little bit of a nod to that back to the future shoe. The more and more we go into the future with product design, the simpler um, products um, will look and sort of be to use. Uh, in other words, they, they kind of, uh, with new materials and new, uh, new application of technology, um, you, you, I think you, you can see it in other areas of design, but you can see kind of a distillation of design and a simplification of design because the materials can do so much more. You can envision that being the next generation basketball shoe. So I think just in its simplicity and its modern design feel, but some of those classic elements, that's what really appealed to us and what we tried to incorporate. I think we're, we're very happy with um, how it turned out. Here we are, like you said, uh, roughly 20 years later, and we're uh, our uh, lightest weight, highest performance, new basketball shoe being worn by the greatest players in the world is partially at least inspired by a shoe that we designed 20 years ago, but for the future.